You see, bro, if you put in the work, watch my videos, brush the correct angles, and wolf, bro, and wolf, bro, you'll see the result. Okay, so, as most of you don't know, it's been around one year since I've started waving. So, this is how my waves used to look, and this is the progression of how my waves look from then to now. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of your own wave journey and how you can improve on, upon your waves and hopefully it's a sense of inspiration and hope. Now, this whole wave journey, I have to give credit to this, this whole thing where I started waving in August is accredited to the YouTuber 360 Juice. He made a, a wave series. He made a series, he went bald, he scalped his waves and then he became elite in around three months. I happened to start brushing my waves around a week before he started doing that because I broke my hand and then I couldn't and then yeah whatever but but thanks to that it gave me a really good sense of progression like if it was a video game so I was able to go from how I was here to how I am now and I'll show you a realistic wave journey I think this is very realistic for anyone to model, model themselves off and yeah, hopefully it's a sense of inspiration. Let's get into this. Now, this picture right here is around a couple weeks after I started waving, probably like three weeks. Now you can see there's some over curling on the left side, but my connections are kind of in there. This is how the top looks. I'm definitely in the connection stage at this point. That's what I'm saying. You can get in the connection stage really, really quickly if you just start putting in the brush work really, really quickly in the beginning. And that's how my crown looked. My crown is his own journey. My real crown is probably around here. Now, this time I only had a soft brush, right? This was store-bought soft brush from the beauty supply store. You don't want to do that. You need a soft, when you start off waving, you at least need a soft and medium brush, but you want proper wave brushes. So I recommend using two six King Wavy soft and medium brushes. If you don't, if you don't have any brushes, bro, just cop like a medium two six King Wavy brush. You can even get 15% off, link in the description. But please get a proper wave brush at least. Do not, do not just use the same store brought brush that like doesn't even pull your hair. Because when you start right, the minute you start wolfing, bro, it all goes downhill if you only have a, a dumb soft brush. So get a legit soft brush and a legit wave um, medium brush. Boom. See this? I caught, I caught my first ever proper medium wave brush. And that's when things really started to take off. Now, here, you can see some kind of progression from the last picture. But in the same month, pretty early on, but you can already see the medium brush, it's lay my hair is laying down better. Not just because it it could it could have been frizzy one day and not frizzy the next day. But you can see like the waves themselves are like laid down better. And I'm just slowly progressing. Now boom, look at this. You see what the medium brush did? And this picture right here, now, now my waves on this left side are starting to come in. If you miss, if you don't understand what's going on here, if you missed it, restart to the beginning. To the first pictures I showed on this left side and then come back and then you can see now the waves are starting to form that's just from using a medium brush correctly brushing the right angles now boom this picture right here I'm a bit over curling but you can still see the progress there over curling is caused by you know just not having a trained wolf this of course my waves aren't going to be trained it's like the first month of me waving why would I have trained waves but I'm training them really well. You can see them coming in. All I gotta do is a washing style. Or I might be at the stage where I can use a medium hard to hard brush. Now this picture right here. It seems like um, the over curling is getting pretty bad now. Which is why the, on the, then I remember. Because y'all can't see everything. Because I'll be exposed. But you can see that I got. Well you can't see. But I can see that I got a cut right after. This was good. I remember being mad at myself for cutting the wolf so soon, but I was pretty rapidly over curling, starting to on the side. And I didn't know how to lay my hair down correctly. And it, my hair probably couldn't even lay down that good anyways, because I just started wolfing. I just started waving. And that's like my first ever wolf session. So yeah, it was a good idea that I got to cut. Cut your waves, especially if you're a beginner. Cut your waves when you, you just see too much over curling like this picture right here, see this? You, you don't want that. And if you can't lay it down, no matter what, bro, just cut it. Cut it to a two or to your curl length and keep wolfing. All right, 
these are the first you know results but yeah you can see lost some progress i remember i cut down to a two but i gained that back really quickly if i just keep brushing with that medium brush because now the medium brush is getting down that's why you don't use a soft brush when you're wolfing if i was using a medium brush from the jump when i could have my waves would be intact there but it's okay we're gonna keep going now the crown work now this is how my crown looks first time i'm seeing a picture of my crown for a while it is developing now here i was doing really good i fell off bro my crown i fell off of my crown bro i fell off bro because look here my crown is naturally offset but i'm brushing my waves to to where my crown actually is but as you'll see later i stopped doing that and that completely messed me up now, boom right boom right side so my right side right my right side always was like a medium texture my um i guess i'm a coarse hair like four what is it called i, I need to see a chart like four a four no four four a but my right side is like 3C. Now I can see, and it was always my weak side, but now my waves are starting to come in on this side. Boom, left side waves are really starting to come in on that side. And your waves just, the connections are really starting to form, starting to come in, bro. Not elite yet, not even close, but hey, we get in there, bro. We get in there, bro. It's all about the progress, bro. Trust the process, bro. All right, so we started in August, September, we started in um, September or August 29th that's when we started 2021 now it is October 10 October 12 2021 and boom you see that left side bro yeah the left side is in now the left side is definitely in I still got a lot of forks but do you see these forks they're kind of caused from brushing incorrectly and they're kind of like ripple stage forks I get rid of them really soon now this this was a wave checking school now you can see, bro, my connections are really in there. I was wolfing. I'm wolfing here. I only got one haircut so far when I needed to. Now I'm wolfing. Now you can see the connections coming in. This is what happens when you wolf. This is why you need to wolf. You see, they're coming in. That was a bad video, but you can see they're coming in. The connections are coming in. You just need, just need to wolf. Rewatch that. Rewatch that if you need to see that. All right. We cut down the wolf. These are the results. My, this is my left side. So... This is this was like an eight weeks wolf I did. Cut down the wolf, boom, left side. I had a really bad problem area here, but I fixed that soon as y'all will see. Boom, my left side. And my right side, my strong side, boom. It's looking nice, it's looking almost elite, bro. You can't you might be able to, it's like amateur elite, bro. Like I'm looking real nice on that side, bro. And that's what, from August to now November, November 13th, bro. You see, bro, if you put in the work, watch my videos, brush the correct angles, and wolf, bro, and wolf, bro, you'll see the results. You can see, um, this is when like, you get a fresh cut. When you get that fresh cut, bro, and you start brushing, bro, you see the, a lot of results, bro. So we have another video here. 2-6K wavy do-rag, bro. Link in the description, bro. 15% off. These are the looking place. But, bro, you see, and it's just, you can see the all-around progress from when we first started. From even September, the progress exponentially increased once we start wolfing for a while. Once you got the hang of wolfing, bro, it was all over, bro. That's when we really started to make that progress. Now, see here, bro, right side, boom. I'm wolfing here. I remember I went on another long wolf session here for Christmas break. Now, we're deep. We can tell, you can tell he's wolfing. I need to fix this. I do fix it this in this um, session. I moved this. This fork right here, I'm gonna break it soon. All right, so this, this is the point where I go to fix my top left. So my top left right here, bro, look at this. I had all them forks, all them forks. And then I started really brushing the right angles. I've talked about this a lot in old videos. I made a video about this. If you wanna break your weak side, bro, I made a video about it. This is, this is how to fix my, my majorly bad weak side. So you see all these forks and stuff here. I started doing washing styles, vertical brushing, flawless connection method, and it gradually gets better. It's my right side, bro. So yeah, I put switch up the angle, making pr crazy progress, bro. Look, look at that. This is a wave, terrible flow, but the fork is gone. Now, if we can come here, we have to imagine it. Fork of um, waving is is painting, bro. You have to imagine how you want your waves to look, and then get your waves to look like that, bro. Wow. 
it was about my weak side, bro. We made this progress. Now, now my hair is low. Now I'm gonna brush, 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 brush a lot. I'm gonna brush as much as I can. So now, I just make the most progress when I'm on a low cut. Now right, you see, bro, you gotta construct your ways, bro. You really gotta focus on that. You gotta like study it. You gotta construct, you gotta, you know, make these diagrams, but this is how you fix your ways, bro. Then boom, cut the wolf, it's fixed. It is done and it's finished, bro. We've done it, we've done it, bro. We fixed the weak side. We fixed it. It's not totally fixed, bro, but it's, we've done it. This is this is the point where I said we fixed the weak side, bro. I only have two forks left here. Now, for me now, this fork, I didn't realize how much it got pushed out. This fork is now around over here. And this fork is gone completely. And that fork doesn't exist. And this, these two forks, I you can even call them forks. Or like, that's crazy. No more much. We got a little bit of a fork going on, but what I was saying, bro, labeling is art, bro. You gotta, it's construction. Now you gotta find out how to fix that. Now this plan right here, it, it worked perfectly. It worked perfectly. We fixed these two forks and now there's no forks there anymore. I did the flawless connection method. I really focused on that area. And then we had to use our imagination to bring this fork up here. We had to bring it down and then we had to bring this down because it would equally, you know, flow correctly. That's what we had to do and that's what we did. And boom, bro, this is, this was like a seven weeks wolf at the time. I remember this week, seven weeks wolf, bro. Sour weak side, or strong side, I don't know if this, I really don't know at this point, bro. But yeah, we're wolfing, bro, but we, it's like the best maintained wolf I've ever done. Well, I guess second best, at the time it was. You get better every single time you wolf. And then boom, you see that? You see that, bro? You see that fork, bro? It's about to separate, and it's not even a fork anymore, basically. Yeah. Now at the time, bro, this is my best weight picture, bro. It looks like there's a one fork only, bro. In there, bro, dipping. And this is less than a year of progress. Remember where we were in August, bro? Less than a year of progress, bro, we're dipping. All right, so I made a mistake. I overwolfed a little bit and I cut too low. I should have cut down to a two, but I think at the time I had prom. So I cut down to 1.5. It looked pretty good at the moment. It looks good in the moment, but bro, we gained a fork in the back right here, bro. And it was so annoying to get rid of, and it took a long time. It actually does look pretty good. I think I like, yeah, it looks pretty good here, actually, so I can't really complain. And then here, we like lost the progress right there, but it actually wasn't too bad. But the worst part about it, about it, we kind of gained, like not a fork, but like the wave just stopped existing. But you see that we did fix this. We did fix that, so that's good. So yeah, we made progress from that definition. It paid off, it paid off, I guess. So I'm on the last wave problem. So now we're in May. We're in May, finally, we're in May. I'm just, this is getting, it's a long video, bro. We're in May, so um, now we have one. Um, so these two forks are fork, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Brush it down, vertical brushing like that, that's how we're gonna break that. And now this, I made another fatal mistake. For, to fix this problem area right here, I had to brush like this. But instead I made a dumb diagram brushing down, which only hindered my progress. Only now, like last week I fixed this, bro. Last week I got rid of these forks. So it, took, it, it prolonged me, it took me like three months to fix these forks from brushing the wrong angle. That's why you need to brush the correct angle. This comb, phenomenal, phenomenal for the flawless connection method. Then my friend started waving but I was dope. He's in there, bro. He, he's almost elite, bro. I think he's a real key elite, bro, but he's almost there. And now we will go on to modern day. So I went on a wolf session on like a 12 weeks wolf for the trim in there. You all probably saw the results already, but it's how we look today. Well, not totally, it kind of broke the fork right here. But yeah, we have one fork here. You see, this fork is all the way up here, bro. And now I'm not even focusing on it. It's down here. Now we're focusing on this fork, this fork, bro. Next time we cut down, bro, we're breaking this fork in 10 days, bro. The challenge, bro. 
right side. I made a lot of progress with the crown area. That's the end standard. It looks a lot better. I just got a haircut. So I guess it's not going to be perfect. Because my real crown is like here. But yeah, bro. Mm. Top shot. We do have this weird thing right here I don't like. And kind of two forks here running break. And then we did develop a fork right here, which is not good. And we got rid of the forks here. We got rid of the forks here. That were plaguing me for a while. And the fork in the back. And yeah, this is my wave journey. For one, that's that's one year of waving, bro. It's been a really good year of waving, bro. It's a lot of, you know, you need discipline. My biggest takeaways, bro, my biggest advice, bro. If you really want to do this, bro, is just stay consistent. It's so cliche to hear, bro, but it's true. Just every day, bro, the school brush. Brush your hair every day. Brush right angle. Whoa. Moisturize. With healthy. Just take care of your hair, bro. That's how you do it, bro. And the rest of my video videos will just be teaching you how, you know, the, just the actionable steps to get, you know, 360 ways, bro. It's not, it's not hard to be flawed. It's not hard to be elite, bro. But it's a challenge to be flawless. So that's why. I'm going on a challenge to be flawless in 90 days. Watch this video right here to learn more. Thanks for watching. God bless.